Sweet, tangy mustard chicken. Oh my goodness, guys. So easy to make. Incredibly delicious. Without further ado, let's make some up. So the first thing I'm going to do here is grab up about eight bone-in chicken thighs. And using a good sharp knife, we're going to make two diagonal slices down the thigh about an inch and a half apart. This is going to make the thighs bake better. Let that sauce sink down in. It looks kind of cool. Next up, let's make up our marinade with an eighth of a cup of red wine vinegar. And if you don't have red wine vinegar, then just leave it out. Four cloves of chopped garlic just to keep the count away, if you know what I mean. A quarter cup of brown sugar. Now, I use brown. You can go ahead and use white, but I like that molasses-y effect. Followed by a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. About a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Now, I'm using the old-fashioned classic here, but you can use the Dijon of your choice. A quarter teaspoon of dried mustard. A head of salt, about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. And last but not least, about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. But you can use as much as you want, depending on how hot you want it. Go ahead and grab up your spoon and mix this until everything is beautifully combined. And you know, you might think I'm crazy, but this is smelling good already. Now our chicken is going into a Ziploc bag. You can use a bowl too, but I think the whole Ziploc bag thing is kind of cool. Makes me feel right professional. And of course, you guessed it, we're going to add that marinade or sauce over top of the chicken. Give our bag a zip up. If you're using a bowl, you don't have to do anything. Now, of course, give that chicken a nice, relaxing, professional massage until that marinade completely covers it. Now, I'm going to say something stupid. If you're using a bowl, of course, stir it. After you're done with the massage, you can do a few things here. You can stick it in the fridge for an hour or two or even overnight. Or you can do what I'm going to do and cheat and use it right away. But it's not really a marinade. It's a sauce. Okay, no matter what you've done, it's time to put that chicken onto a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. And guys, this is smelling good already. It's still raw, but I'll be dipped. It does smell good. Then, and only then, I'm going to grab up my brush and brush that remaining sauce over top of that chicken because you simply cannot waste that. And don't forget those little clumps and whatnot of garlic that are just laying around the bowl. Get those on too. I'm not too sure what you think, guys, but I think these look good enough to bake. So, our thighs are going into a 450 degree Fahrenheit, 220 Celsius preheated oven for about 30, 35 minutes. After about 30 minutes, these are done. And if you want to be sure, stick a thermometer in there. It should read about 165 degrees. Or cut a little piece open. Make sure there's no pink or blood in there. But the juices are running clear, so I think they're done. So after all that work, let's plate these up with my favorite veggie in the whole wide world. Some broccoli, and you can do some mashed potatoes on the side too. And we have a great recipe for that. And I don't know, guys, don't these look absolutely yummy and fantastic? I think so anyway. If you think so, leave me a comment below. Or a like, whatever you're so inclined to do. And maybe you can tell me something else. When you make up a really good dish and it looks ever so good, do you not stop and admire your handiwork or take a picture? I know, I do. Maybe I'm kind of vain. Let me know. Of course, you have to add some of that juice from the bottom of the pan over top of those thighs just to get that extra little bit of flavor. Guys, when you cut into this, you get that tanginess from the mustard, that sweetness from the sugar, the heat from the cayenne, the juiciness of the chicken. Oh my goodness, it doesn't get much better. It's like heaven. You simply have to make this. Hungry for more? Subscribe.